You didn't notice something. Same thing, same problem as last month. I know, there's no meat stick. No meat stick. What's up? Fix your stuff, Keto Box. Fix it. Get it all in a bag, put it together, and fix it. Put a meat stick in the box. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Joe. And I'm Anthony. And this is Two Crazy Ketos. And here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews and we talk about various keto topics. And every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. Now, you can find us on all kinds of social media like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. Also, make sure you hit that little bell button so that you are notified every time we upload a new video. I really feel like I should get to divvy out the products this month. Why? No. Like, you're going to get to eat job. them all. There's probably I'm... something in here that you can have. Okay, well, welcome to our channel. Um, if you're new to our channel, I'm Joe. I'm this Anthony. is our son, Anthony. Rachel doesn't join us for this video because what we do with this is this is the keto box. If you don't know what this is, this is a monthly subscription box where you get a bunch of little keto snacks, usually like eight to 12 different things, and you can try different things without having to buy a whole case. We have a coupon code down below. You can go ahead and order it with that will get you some money off of your very first box. So the reason Anthony joins us for this box is Anthony is not keto. So normally what we do is we go over everything in here, all the ingredients, the macros, how much it costs, and then we eat it and you get the perspective from somebody who's been on keto for four years of whether I think it's good. And then you get the perspective of a non-keto person. Me. And he is going to be brutally honest. Yes. Are you ready? And for I'm this? the only one who can eat these, so you'll only have my opinion to go off of. <laughs> So yes, I'm in the middle of a 31 day keto chow only fast, so I can't eat anything in this box. Now the way we're gonna do this, I've already gone through everything in the box just so I can pull up the prices. Anthony, for some reason, has decided that he hands everything out. And uh, yeah, that's where we're gonna go. All right, you can start with this one. Smart cakes, I do realize- I'll give you the ones that you like this time because you can't eat them. Okay, smart cakes. The ingredients in these are eggs, purified water, proprietary fiber blend, which is oat fiber, corn fiber, and flax, erythritol, whey protein, isolate, olive oil, pure raspberry extract, vanilla, pure vanilla, salt, cellulose gum, monk fruit, citric acid, spices, and herbs. There are two cakes in here. One cake is 38 calories, but let's be honest, unless you happen to be like Rachel I, where you can split a pack, nobody's eating one cake. You're gonna eat two cakes. But one cake is 38 calories, 2.5 grams of fat, four grams of protein. It is nine total carbohydrates, five grams of dietary fiber, four grams of erythritol, making it zero net carbs. Oh, I was like, what were you doing there? You're like drawing back like an anime character. Zero net carbs. This is the product. This product alone is why I tell people, if you were gonna do a total car uh, net carb, have a total carb cap for yourself. Because with this product alone, I could eat 200 total carbs and still be at zero net carbs. And you won't even have a lot of calories because like 10 of these would only be, like 10 packs would only be 760 calories. 10 packs, like 20. Yeah. So there you go. This is raspberry cream. Raspberry cream. I should have gotten my glasses. Is there like an actual cream inside of it? No, no, it's just like oh, it's just lying to me. That's what it is. <laughs> what do you oh, think? Oh wow, this is actually pretty good. I've always liked smart cakes. But I never liked the chocolate one because I didn't think it was good enough. Okay. So you like these? Okay. This flavor is good. We actually do have a coupon code for us. I will leave it down below. It should be in the description box. Price on these, it works, if you break, if you look on their thing, it's $3.50, but once you join their club, once you place one order, it actually drops down, and then we have a discount code that will save you some more money. Do you wanna do that mug cake next so that I can get my glasses at the same time? Yeah. Okay. All right, 
Keto-friendly, naturally seasoned, sweet logic, red velvet mug cake mix. All right, this is a tall mountain to climb because red velvet is my favorite cake. Oh, I didn't even know that. Yes, they, they got a tall mountain to climb here. Okay. So the ingredients are allulose, natural almond flour, coconut flour, cocoa powder, MCT oil, MCT oil powder, which is MCT oil, oil and tapioca fiber, flaxseed powder, egg white powder, baking powder, salt, vegetable juice color, and stevia leaf extract. Okay. The serving is one pouch, and this pouch has 200 calories, 15 grams of fat, 34 total grams of carbohydrate, 6 total, six grams of fiber, 2 grams of sugar. That's 20... It's got allulose. How much allulose? Where? Oh, there it is. Oh, 24 grams of allulose. Wow, that's so it makes a lot of allulose. It, minus the 6 fiber will make it 4 grams of net carbs. Okay, so... We're gonna go ahead and go make this. I can get my glasses and we can come back and you can taste test it. Yes. What are your thoughts? Well, it, when I first poured it out, it was brown. So okay. I was a little concerned. Okay. But now it's red. It smells very coconutty. So I'm, I'm not off to the greatest start. Well, it is, it. it is a red velvet color. It I will is. give it that. Okay, so how did you make this before you taste it? So. You have two options. You could either put two tablespoons plus one teaspoon of water in and mix it, or you can do a tablespoon of butter and one egg, and I opted for the egg and butter. So you want to give it its best I'm chance. I'm giving it its best chance. Okay. Again, high standard, because... Uh, it looks moist. That's very hot. Mmm. It's very bland. Like, I don't taste much of the chocolatey. Okay. Red velvet. It's perfectly moist, I will say that. Okay. Like, if I even take it out, it, it, it is perfectly... It looks good. It's just not flavorful. Okay. So? Well, I can't try it. I will say this. Um... We've had this before. It used to actually be known as Primal Noms. Uh, this lady, awesome lady, Allie, owned the company. And um, it looks like they've changed up the formulation a little bit. A little bit less calories. A little bit better ingredients, I think. Um, and it looks like they've lowered the price. Because the price on those work out to be, when you buy it in a pack of five, they work out to be $3.60. And I remember the first time we saw them, they were like $5 a mug cake. So, uh, yeah, overall pretty impressed, but again, they I were also try it. not very sweet for there being 24 grams of allulose in there. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Next up. Let's see. Stoka bar. I'm actually really glad that this is in here. So the ingredients in this are peanuts. This is by the way, the peanut butter and jelly strawberry flavor. The ingredients in this are peanuts erythritol, strawberries, inulin, natural flavors, sea salt, guar gum, sunflower lecithin, and stevia extract. So the nutrition facts on this is one bar is 230 calories, 19 grams of fat. It is nine grams of protein, 17 total carbohydrates, five grams of dietary fiber, and seven sugar alcohols, making it five net carbs. And I hate to say this, but I'm, I'm happy to see this in here, but I'm sad to see this in here. I'm happy to see this in there because Stoka Bar just announced that they're going out of business. Oh, and dang. Yeah, uh, because the COVID and everything else, they're having to shut down. They're made here in the USA. I'm sad because I have to hand this sucker over to you. And that happens to be one of my favorite flavors of the Stoka Bar. Wow. Because it's peanut butter and jelly. And yeah. I love peanut butter and jelly. I love peanut butter and jelly. So let's see what you think. Dang, it's actually pretty good. They are pretty good. It's very sad that they're going out of Why business. Why are they going out of business? COVID, you know, affects shipping and everything else. So as, as of right now at the filming of this, they are still in business. They were shutting down, I believe, in a week or so. So if it is something you're interested in, I would head on over and try to order whatever you can because... It is really good. And That's pretty good. 
And the price on those, I mean, maybe you'll still be able to find some on Amazon and stuff like that. The price on those is $3 a bar. You buy it in a box, obviously. So next up. All right. Nutso. Oh, God, it's one of these things. All right. <laughs> it's just, a, so it's just a, a nut butter. This is a keto nut butter. Now, Try Rachel all and nice I... Almonds, coconut, Brazil nuts, pecans, macadamia, and a flaxseed, chia seeds, Celtic sea salt. So Rachel and I actually did a review of the Nutso Keto a couple of years ago when we were in Dallas. I will leave a link for that right over Anthony's head. All right. <clears throat> So the ingredients are almonds, dried coconut, Brazil nuts, pecans, macadamia nuts, flax seeds, chia seeds, and Celtic sea salt. So serving size is one pouch. There are 160 calories in here, 15 grams of fat, five grams of total carbohydrates, three grams of fiber, and one gram of sugar, making that a total of two net carbs. Okay, let me go ahead. One thing when you buy these packets of nut butters, need them. You gotta need them. The first time Anthony was like, oh, this looks really good. I think it was one of my favorite ones was like that strawberry lime one, right? Like a margarita one. And he didn't need it. And he opened it up, squirted it in his mouth for a giant thing of oil only. And he was like, this is disgusting. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna love this stuff and I can't have it. So sad. There you go. Let's see. It's still a little oily. Come on. Where are you at? Hold Why on. don't you just squirt it in your mouth? I didn't want to. You love peanut butter too. Mm -mm. Not for you? Mm -mm. The coconut, there's no need for coconut and peanut butter. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I happen to like it, but I also haven't had it in two years. Uh, price on that is on Amazon, $25 for a 26 ounce jar, which seems like a lot of money. I know you can buy it in Costco, which is where we found it the first time. Ew. Good to go bars. This is the double chocolate flavor. Ingredients in this are almond flour, inulin, erythritol, chocolatey chips. like. Chocolatey, chocolatey chips, chips, which are unsweetened chocolate, inulin, erythritol, cocoa butter, sunflower lecithin, vanilla extract, and stevia leaf. Then we have cocoa powder, vegetable glycerin, apple cider vinegar, ch ground chia seeds, sea salt, natural flavor, baking soda, rosemary extract, mixed toporols to preserve freshness. Um, nutrition facts on this under the fold are... One bar, and there's actually three little cookie bars inside of here. It's 160 calories, so for the whole thing, that's 160 calories. 12 grams of fat, five grams of protein, 17 total carbohydrates, eight grams of dietary fiber, five grams of erythritol, making it four net carbs. Now, I've had these before. I'm going to let you know what I think after you try it. The ingredients are actually really good. Hold on. Before is the dog and she is in her cage. So if I have cage. to, I will throw this on the floor. It is not an Eat Good Fats bar. That's pretty good. So here's my thought on them. And I don't think I've tried this flavor. The ingredients are really good. I've always found them to lack a little bit of flavor. Like, does the that more I eat it, the more it tastes. It's very cakey. Yeah. It doesn't taste bad, but it's not like... I look at that and I taste that and I'm like, is that worth 17 total carbs? Like, or would you rather have a chocolate bar for yeah. 17 total carbs? That's how I look at everything now. Like, if I'm going to eat it, is it worth it? Am I getting that like, just like, oh, that was so good feeling, right? And what do you think? It's not that good. It's okay. It, it's okay, but like I would eat it in would the keto it. bar, yeah. in the box, but I wouldn't, per me personally, some people love them, I wouldn't go out and buy them. Uh, $24 for nine, so $2.66 a piece. Ooh. It is something you can have, but I can't have. Okay, so this is sound tea infused oh, yeah. sparkling water. Blood orange plus vanilla black tea. This sounds actually really good. 
says, in a world of flavors buried in sugar, sound is made with, well, sound ingredients. Certified organic, no sweeteners, and nothing artificial. We believe that life can be sweet without adding any sugar. The bubbles make everything better and that. This less is enough. So the ingredients are filtered sparkling water, black tea extract, vanilla extract, blood orange extract, green tea extract, and citric acid. Serving size is one can, zero calories, zero fat, zero protein, zero total carbohydrates. Okay, so I can have this because it's a drink, but as I'm giving up food for 30 days. I did carbonation. Anthony is giving up everything carbonated, so he cannot have this. Now, I like tea. I love tea. But I don't like unsweetened tea. I and love this tea. This is unsweetened. Oof. Good thing I can't have it because I would throw it out a window. Wow. See, I like tea. I, I, if it wasn't carbonated, I would drink it, but it is. I just got some so, peach tea. It's really that good. is good. That is good. It is unsweetened. It is like it is definitely like a tea, and it's got like a hint of yeah, orange vanilla, almost like it's like a hint of a creamsicle, but just a hint. But the bubbles and the orange flavor make it that. Yeah, I don't need a sweetener. It's almost like drinking a seltzer water. It's like drinking a seltzer water is what I'm well, going to say. Then I but it's have tea. to try it later. So, well, it's not going to be sparkly any later. Well, no, not, not in now, 20 days. I'll get it in. Uh, price on these is $22 for eight cans. At least that's on their website. I will try it if I ever see it in a store. <laughs> okay, next up. Um, it's your turn. I'm looking. I'm going to do this. Angel hair pasta. Hearts of palm, though. Okay. So I remember last time we got the pot, the lasagna sheets. I like these things. So, ingredient. Heart of palm. <laughs> That's it. Um, there are two and a half servings in this container, and a serving size is about half a cup. Um, there's 25. So if you're just going per serving, it's 25 calories for this container, or for this first serving. Um, four grams. most people are going to eat the whole package. Yeah, okay. Well, I'll go off of this serving. Total carbohydrate is four, two grams of fiber, making it two net carbs. Okay. So. Are you just going to eat it? I'm just going to eat it. Okay. What? You having trouble there? Well, the, it. There we go. Now you like hearts of palm. I love heart of palm. Let's see. So it is as thin as spaghetti. Or well, as it's angel, angel hair. hair, right? It's a good substitute. They need some salt, though. I'll Everything needs salt. Well, no, last I remember it, they added, I could have swore they added salt. Okay. So price on that, at least the price that I was able to find on the internet is... Uh, nineteen dollars for four boxes of them. So I don't think that's that. That's not that no. bad. A little bit less than five dollars per box. Ooh, these are actually really good. I'll be. Oh. This box is really good, <laughs> and I can't have any of this. And it's not gonna like taste good in twenty days. Okay, so monk pack keto nut and seed. This is sea salt and dark chocolate. The ingredients in this are almonds, allulose, peanuts, pumpkin seeds, soluble tapioca fiber, sunflower seeds, palm oil, rice flour, coconut oil, alkalized cocoa powder, sea salt, unsweetened chocolate, natural flavor, sunflower lessons, and mixed tofurols, for vi which is vitamin E, uh, monk fruit extract, sustainably sourced. There is 150 calories in a bar, 12 grams of fat, uh, 5 grams of protein, 14 total carbohydrates, Four grams of dietary fiber, and then how much allulose? Let's see. Let's see. Uh, seven grams. Seven grams of allulose. So it's three net carbs per. Ooh. Ooh, that's not. It's 
smells like a like a it smells like a little bit a little almost like a Snickers. Yeah, good. This is a good box. It is a shame that I can't eat this. It is a good bar. This reminds me of like the old of the payday? granola bars. Oh, okay. It does taste like it actually does taste a little bit like a payday bar. Yeah, except for payday doesn't have chocolate, but you know what it smells like? Now it reminds me. It smells like a baby Ruth bar, which you're not old enough to have ever had. I've a baby had a baby Ruth bar. Have you really? They sell them in the store. Do they really? Mm -hmm. I'm old. But if my sister is watching this, she would remember we stopped eating Baby Ruth bars because we went to visit my grandmother who lived off of the Suwannee River and she handed us a Baby Ruth bar and it was covered in ants because of course she lived in Florida and she stored them outside and yeah, covered in ants and I never touched the Baby Ruth bar again. That tastes good. Does it? Okay. So those bars are actually pretty reasonable. $25 for 12 bars. So it's just less than, uh, just over $2 per bar. All right. Is this the company? Intact. Intact. All right. Crunchy cheese, black pepper. We've had these before. Yes. So the ingredients are, where Where are they? There they are. Chilean buttery cheese, which is just pasteurized, semi-skimmed cow's milk, salt, lysosome, egg, microbial enzyme, cheese culture, and then black pepper and salt. So there are two servings in this container and a serving size is about 18 to 20 pieces. Just give me a number. Don't give me an estimate because then I'm just going to take the more, the bigger estimate. <laughs> well, it, you're supposed to weigh it out is what you're supposed to do. They don't give me a measurement. Yes, they, they do. 14 grams. Okay. Still. <laughs> total fat is six grams. There is less than one total carbohydrate. No fiber, no sugars. So fun fact, Rachel and I actually met the owner of this company when we were at the 2019 KetoCon. Uh, super nice guy. I've always found they taste really good, but need more salt. Need more salt. But they're really good and they're probably one of the healthiest cheese snacks you can buy. Uh, and then the reason they're not as salty as a lot of the other ones is because they dehydrate them. And the way they do it, they've got a unique process to make it not as salty, which is probably good. I would rather always have something not have as much salt because I can add salt than have something that is too salty because you can't take the <clears> salt <throat> away. The black pepper hits you back of your throat. So what do you think? It's pretty good. I like it. Okay. Uh, price on those, $2.33 a bag. Usually you buy it in like a pack of them. Sun Yum. We've actually had this before. This is a sunflower seed dip and spread. Not this one, though. What do you mean, not this one? Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. You're killing me. Kiddo box. You're killing me. Like, of all the months to have, like, a perfect box. Yeah. Ingredients. Water. Sunflower. Oil. Um, sunflower seeds. Granulated garlic. Salt. Jalapeno powder. Balsamic vinegar, citric acid, cilantro flakes, lemon peel powder, because this is a jalapeno flavor. And anybody who knows me knows that I love anything that's jalapeno. So serving size, there is four servings. Uh, a serving size is two tablespoons. I feel like if I remember right. I remember it being smaller. We decided. It wasn't enough. That it, it was too small. So if I remember right, we decided that this there was four that there was four servings in what you get. Yeah. When you get two in a pack. Because there's there's not eight tablespoons in this container. Yeah. So there is a hundred calories per serving, uh, ten grams of fat, two grams of protein, two total carbohydrates, one gram of dietary fiber. This is just Well, I mean, because you, I want to go get a chip. Oh, that smells really good. Do we have, do we? Oh, there are no chips in here. Dang I got chips. That snacks. Cheddar. Oh, it looks like a cheese egg. They're very good. Let's, I think since, since we've got these, you, you should, you should give it a taste without the dip first so I can have, this came from another box, but we actually get, eat them all the time. So let's get your opinion on these while you're eating them. Ooh. It's a cheese it. 
What do you think? That's pretty good. They're really good. We have a coupon code for them. So, okay, go ahead and give that dip. You're gonna eat that whole bag on me and not save it for me for next month, but. Ooh. <sighs> You're killing me. That good. You're killing me. You're killing me. You can't even be, just, just, just fake it. It's, oh, <laughs> it's awful. <laughs> it's awful. I was gonna put it in my pocket for later. $15 for four cups. Okay. What's up? All right. Two more things. Here, I'll read this and I'll give you... Uh, I, don't, I don't need to do this. For, well, no. You do this one last and then I'll do this one. Okay. Yeah, because I, I did two in a row. You didn't notice something, I did you? What? You didn't notice something. Same thing. Same problem as last month. I know. There's no meat stick. No meat stick. What's up? Fix your stuff, Keto Box. Fix it. Get it all in a bag, put it together, and fix it. Put a meat stick in the box. I'm disappointed. All right. So, the English... Are you going to oh, tell everybody what it well, is? Well, it's, it's crunchy cheese mix with almonds. It's all it It's is. Keto Farms. Yeah. So, the ingredients. Almonds, Monterey Jack cheese with peppers, past, which is just pasteurized milk, and jalapeno peppers, bell peppers, cheese culture, salt, and enzymes, MCT oil... Um, and contains 2% or less of the following. Salt, onion powder, cheddar cheese, which is just pasteurized milk, ch salt, cheese culture enzymes, yeast extract, tomato powder, non-fat, dry milk, whey, natural sweetener, which is a wortetol, monk fruit and monk fruit extract, garlic powder, malic acid, sodium diacate, buttermilk, natural flavors, spices, citric acid, and lactric lact lactic acid now for the record all of that is the seasoning yes. so they're telling you every ingredient within there's two the percent of all that pretty much so there's this whole package of one serving there's 160 calories in this in the pack 14 grams of fat four grams of total carb two grams of fiber one gram of sugar making it two net carbs and this flavor is ranch so i'm gonna get a cheese and an almond Oh. All right. That's real good. That's got a bold ranch flavor. I don't ranch, think I've had that flavor before. The ranch kind of like hits you in the face. Okay, $15 for six bags. I'll leave a link for that down below. You can get it on Amazon. Also, they have coupons all the time on Amazon, so I definitely wanna kinda watch for that, but I will leave a link down below. If, if just to let you guys know, any links I do have below, they are affiliate links or uh, Amazon links, and if you use them, it does help the channel. We greatly appreciate it. Also, if you use any of our Amazon links, even if you don't buy the product that you click on, for example, you click on that, if you then go buy something else, it still helps the channel. So we really appreciate everybody who does that. Okay, so we have Ross Chocolates. This is the last product, right? Yes. This is milk chocolate flavored thins with oof, lemon, coconut. lemon coconut. Okay, so let's see. This, there's a little thing on the back here. It says, born from the frustration of a chocolatier diagnosed with diabetes, Ross Chocolates is becoming the gourmet chocolate of choice for those looking for a no sugar added treat. Our uncompromising approach to crafting the best tasting chocolate using the highest quality ingredients has earned a strong, loyal following. Diabetics and others looking to eliminate sugar from their diet have long embraced our premium chocolate because it's minimal, if any, effect on blood sugar. Our creamy texture and unique flavors make Ross chocolates a guilt-free indulgence. The ingredients are cocoa butter, erythritol, whey protein, isolate, cocoa mass, inulin, maltodextrin, milk fat, whole milk powder, soy lecithin, unsweetened coconut, lemon oil, natural flavors, stevia, uh, stevia glycoside, and natural vanilla extract. There are three servings in this container. Five pieces per serving, 140 calories per serving, 11 grams of fat. There is four grams of protein, 13 total carbohydrates, six grams of dietary fiber, four grams of sugar alcohol, making it three net carbs. See, are they wrapped or are they just loose? If I remember right, these are loose. Yes.
Ooh, I smell lemon. I don't smell lemon. Smell the bag. Mmm, I don't smell lemon. It's a it's a mild lemon. Oh, I taste the lemon. How is it? It's pretty good. Let me, I'm giving it a second. Now it's got coconut and you don't like coconut. So is the coconut coming through? I don't taste coconut. I taste lemon. I taste lemon and chocolate. That's about it. Well, those are two good combinations. Okay. Uh, price on those is $5 a bag. So, Well, that is going to be this month's Keto Box. Uh, let us know down in the comment section which of these products intrigue you the most. I'm going to ask you, is there anything in here you didn't like this time? The red velvet mix. So that was your least that favorite. You said it was okay. And I said it was okay. Wherever it went. It's over, oh, it's over here. I'm using it as a plate. Okay, almost. but it I wasn't everything there, in this Nothing box. got tossed. Nothing got tossed. Nothing got tossed. I'm very surprised. They did very good, except for the no meat stick. Again, all of your stuff together. Get it in a bag. Put the meat stick back in here. This is what I want. I want the meat stick. That's all. That If there is a meat stick in this box... It would have been perfect. So this box, so the, the lack of a meat stick brought yes. this from a uh, brought from it from a hundred to a ninety. Brought it from wow, 100 that's to a, a lot. That meat stick means a lot of yes, points. Yes, that to meat you. stick. That meat stick means a lot. If it's not there, I expect it to be there. Okay. It's like I, I rely on it, like how I rely on Arizona sweet teas to always be ninety nine cents. Those things have never gone down in price. They're the most reliable thing in my life. Always ninety nine cents. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> okay. That is this video. Let us know down in the comment section which of these products intrigues you most. Let us know if you've tried anything, if you've tried something you didn't like it, if you tried it and you really like it. Again, there's a link down below if you're interested in getting the keto box, uh, as well as a coupon code, which will save you some money on your very first box. Now, if you like seeing videos like this, check out some of the other videos that we have linked right down there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which you can find right over here. But whether you head this way or you head that way, make sure you head this way, as Rachel always says. Subscribe to our channel, hit the little bell button, and that way every time we upload a new video and Anthony doesn't bash a product, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time, bye.